another sweep here but i want to be surprised i really want to be surprised here but then again velvet wins that coin toss especially here we're going to be seeing oh, what maps and what modes we are going to see here with map number one number three are going to be picked by velvet and search and destroy are going to be picked by eve and you see here summit and standoff are going to be banned Oh, wherever Velvet goes to Seoul, it's going to be quite a pain to see Team Eve scratch and claw their way up. <laughs> but when they bring it into firing range, hard point at firing range is super duper straightforward, right? You have got four of these points that you need to go in there and contest and they are all within the exact same vicinity, which means you don't really need to use the, the whole of the map. That's exactly how hard point works on firing range. Let's take a quick look at search and destroy ladies to have a boys called summit and rain back and off and team eve gets to decide please don't pick tunisia i swear okay there you go firing <laughs> range is where they'll play this you know what I, why do i feel like it's going to be a triple firing range to end off the day but you know what let's see for domination but here we go firing range now this is going to be very difficult for eve and i know they chose this one but going up against velvet knowing how good they are at firing range so that's going to be very difficult for them but summit and standoff are going to be <laughs> here we go Triple firing range. They, you know, we already know a domination, and we already know that's going to be an interesting matchup here, especially how different game modes are going to be played on the same map. Yeah, I take note that Velvet does not want to play Summit on any of these uh, modes here. So that could be a very small trick that they are playing against their opponents to show that they do not want to play on Summit. Dinosaurs of, of this matchup and we want them to really get to that level. We want them to exceed and right now it's going to be very difficult, especially with an opponent like this. But let's hard start it off identified. here in Hardpoint and Firing Range it's and it's fire. going to be a very close one, hopefully. All right, Singaporeans, the Filipinos have already helped us share the crap out of the stream. The Malaysians helped us as well. Now it's your turn, yo. The Singapore showdown will start off and Simp with a beautiful double kill opening things up in here. But it's going to be Team Velvet who is at that hard point to pick the points up. It's not going to matter exactly how many kills you get. Can you take the points in here for yourself? Very strong, you know, intro here by none other than Eve. They're having a very interesting run, but just like that, we can see here it is being contested and their rotation is actually very good, but then they're going to be a little bit spread out here. The power positions aren't really taken by anyone so far, and right now I think it's because they're not really taking the game seriously, knowing that Team Eve is probably like the weakest link out of everyone, so they're not really getting those power positions in right now. We only just see Keiki over here in that uh, upper tin. Okay, let's see exactly what way people go in here to pull off a great position to be holding on to hard point number one. So much picked up by Velvet, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 37 and only six picked up by Eve here. As they'll go in for the reset, this is going to be hard point number two at the command center, commanded by none other than Velvet. You, you can see here actually one person from from Team Eve is actually not connected. Chewy is just stuck there. They're having like a hard time to really get in there, especially with four people in your team. Oh, this is going to spell bad for Team Eve. And right now, Velvet is absolutely killing it with their rotations, with that, you know, getting all of those kills, especially with one person down. Uh, it's going to be difficult for them, but I think she has reconnected. Okay, now let's see exactly how they'll take this away as Team Velvet clearly seems to be dominating this match. 74 points up now. Team Eve just at that six-way point. Are we going to be able to see NX Bot continuously dominate? It looks like that is going to be the case. It's taking out that counter, you will be up top in the sky. Let's see if or not that will be able to ease off the pressure on Velvet here. Yep, exactly. And they really need to go for that rotation here in trailer or warehouse. And so far, they were able to get that rotation, but Elmo J was just too much to handle, really winning those gunfights. And with a person like Elmo J, she can easily take three people out all on her own. And right now, we see here, it's just an absolute crazy fest in warehouse. Oh, oh, are they gonna just finish this off with those six points, yo? Come on, TP. 
Velvet is just walking all over these girls right now. At the White Warehouse, things have not changed up that much. Vapi is just going on chasing for more kills. Unfortunately for her, it's, she's going to be outnumbered, but still standing tall. Vapi, it's a two on one right now, and lucky for the side of the Eve, Simp manages to slay her. But even as I say that, the hard point is just not being contested. Yeah, exactly. It's like they've already given up that hard point and really tried not to contest it and instead rotate over to the next harbor. But at the same time, they cannot allow that whole team to get that whole hard point. They need to contest at this point. They really need to go for those contest points. And right now, they're not going to be able to actually do that. If you actually let them, then it's going to be stuck at six points. And right now, 133 and six, that's going to be very difficult for them to actually come back from. Yeah, boy, let's keep those shares coming through, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you're from Singapore, hit that share for Team Velvet. Hit that share for NX Bot. Hit that share for your Valkyrie Elmo. Jay, as they are ripping through their opposition right now. Team E finally managed to get that hard point for just a little bit, but for how long? Here comes the prevention gameplay from Vapi. A two-piece for herself is not possible as Angel pops off against her and Team E may just be able to make a small comeback in terms of redemption. Let's see if or not they'll be able to surpass that 50-point mark. And it seems to be available as Velvet is not super aggressive towards the ending of the this man. Yep, exactly. It's as if they were actually just giving them a chance and really trying to go for that one win. But then here we go. It's going to be another lockdown, especially having that rotation off of P1. And P1 is going to be the most difficult point to really defend here. And they need to make that rotation on. The rotation is a little bit late on both ends. But then we see here, Elmo J is going to be spotting here with that power position right now, AJ. Velvet, Velvet, Velvet. Winning the hearts of everyone. But the next hard point is going to be belonging to them. Because the barracks hut has been cleared out already. And the point of contention is none other than Branch Road, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's bring in the nuke for Elmo J. And this is what we are talking about. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, y'all are pulling this off against T. Mustachio is not impressed. Come on, y'all. Here we go. Another nuke. This is absolutely historical. Two nukes in one tournament against the same team. Team Eve, you better step it up because, oh my goodness, you just allowed someone to pull a nuke on you in this caliber of a tournament this will definitely go into someone's youtube channel and they will definitely react to this one yet again amazing plays here mustachio and i think this is i think this is their you know their purpose here in this tournament is to give other teams news <laughs> why team Eve? why why you all do this to me? why but elmo jayla you know she's just absolutely solid in this matchup you know team eve they they managed to pick off those uh few points uh, that were given to them at the barracks hut unfortunately that's exactly where things are gonna end look at this man there's one player from velvet not even entering the hard point, all right? She's not even going into the hard point. Why, Velvet? Why? You want to see if you can get two nukes in one match with it. Oh my gosh. If that actually happened here, then I would definitely just shave my hair from my head and be like, okay, I'm going to tattoo Velvet on myself now. And they're absolutely killing this. And it's already game point. It's going to be 150 and 141. AJ... Oh my goodness. Seriously enough, a double nuclear. What are y'all doing? Exactly. It's like, why would you allow yourselves to get another nuke on you? And especially in a tournament like this, you already know that. He's just super strongly as far as the ladies are concerned. Are we going to be able to see the rise of Sukiban in future competition, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's exactly what I'm hoping for. But this is going to be search and destroy. Velvet dropping in to destroy Team Eve. Yep, exactly. And you know what? I actually just figured out why no one was stepping on that hard point at the last point. You you said, right, that Velvet, why didn't Velvet step on that? It's because they were waiting for the nuke and they didn't want to win the matchup too fast. They wanted the nuke to come in. And it just speaks how much they're not taking this matchup seriously. And we can tell already here, it's a 3-1 situation right now. 
Ah, uh, Bloom dropping in. Velvet gets the very, very easy round number one in here. Eve. Eve has just turned into feed. Everybody's feeding off of Eve. Destroy the objective. Exactly. And that was absolutely crazy, crazy movement. And you thought we were actually on a team death match, but no. This is a search and destroy, and it shouldn't have happened that fast. And right now, with that rotation going into that 2 1 2 formation, it's going to spare a little bit of time for them, but then it's going to be difficult for Sim to actually get that plant on. Okay, now let's see if or not Simp and Lyric can turn this around for the side of Team Eve. Highly improbable, but we will see exactly what they are able to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's going to be an ex bot, Keiki and Savela, still alive in here. Almo J, surprisingly, has lost her life so, so early in round number two. Yep, exactly. And right now, it is a 3v3 situation and you can see here, all of the plays are spread out. But Lyric again with that sniper kill, it is going to be at the favor of Team Eve right now. Okay, it's going to be Lyric Opportunity misses that one and will have to back away. Now, oh, look at this, man. NX bot is in the perfect position to catch them off guard. Not even moving out. Look at this. Beautiful takedown. Simp gets taken out of the equation and the other player doesn't know how to get up in here. She's going to get killed as well. NX bot with one final takedown. Is she going to come up to say hello as well? Melee, are we going to be able to see this? The Combat X dropping out. Ayo, yo, doesn't get it and NX bot will have to pay for that. And, you know, she just moves exactly like a bot, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Sometimes they're just so strong. Sometimes you take them out with one shot. Yep, exactly. And now that makes me wonder why the girls of Team Eve didn't communicate well enough saying that spot was actually up there. And eventually she had those two kills. Savella ending the round, giving another point here for Team Eve. It, they're playing here relaxed. They're having fun here, knowing very well that they have the advantage and the gun skills in place. There is basically, there is not as much plays that we can see here. There's not as much, you know, splits here. But it, it's just interesting how we can see here Team has a fighting chance. They're really, really okay. fighting. <laughs> I don't know. If I want to comment about that fighting chance, all right? <laughs> Let's see. Lyric opportunity. Fighting for a okay. chance. <laughs> yeah, more like fighting for a chance, all right? <laughs> fighting chance, I don't know. Blue taking Chewy out. Chewed out so, so easily in this round as well. So Vela not going to be able to shoot her own friend and get one up. So she will be able to wait a little longer. Let's see exactly what does the team of Velvet have in store for us in round number three. Yeah, exactly. And right now, it's going to be a very dominant round yet again here by Velvet. With that push off of center, we can see here in main, it's going to be difficult for them to be hunting down Simp. And it's it's an amazing push here. They're just playing at this point. But uh, with Eve, I think what they should do is to not let this one just really get them because their spirits are down. You can already tell yeah. they're not moving as well as they were from the past games. And even though that they lost it, at least you could see that they have that spirit, that drive. But right now, I feel like they just feel so defeated. Uh, and unfortunately, that's exactly the feeling a team like Velvet is going to be giving you. Uh, if you don't step it up in the competition, right? You've had so many opportunities in here. Then again, you, you could just leave it to one final thing, which is they're just being outclassed. Team Velvet, they're not even going in here super seriously. And Xbot with the chase opportunity with the turnaround gets that slay anyway. Oh, perfect round for Velvet. Fast games here. The bomb doesn't even go down. It doesn't even get planted. And Velvet will not give that chance to Team Eve. And it's going to be even more difficult now that Velvet will, after this one, it's going to be their round for the attack. They've been on the defense this whole time and you're supposed to have a harder time on defense. But no, that does not phase them. Okay, Elmo J opportunity does not get that shut down and she will be able to recover. The uh, One of the weaknesses of the Fennec, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a really good fire rate. Um, uh, sorry, the MSMC, really good fire rate. Unfortunately, you're not going to be getting a lot of the damages on those bullets when they land. Mm -hmm. But then this is like very interesting, right? You can see that Elmo J, even though she has that MSMC, the fire rate is going to be amazing. But you can already see she already had four kills to her name. Absolutely crazy, crazy plays here. And for her using a gun that doesn't, you know, that's not being used a lot in this pro team is really showing how confident she is. Defend the objective. 
Why are we just seeing an annihilation coming through in here? It's because Team Eve, they just didn't take this seriously enough. Opportunity once again for Lyric. Blind shots coming through. Oh, oh, she is going to get forced through. She needs to back away from this equation. Lyric right in front of her. Opportunity. But Elmo shuts her down. Are we going to be able to see if or not Team Velvet will be able to pull this off with another clean round? It looks like that will be the case. Oh, no. Cherry. And she shuts down. Elmo J. Opportunity maybe four on one. Yep, exactly. Four on one. Is it going to be doable for huh? her? It's going to be difficult. Oh, she, oh no! Yeah, oh, can pull off a nuke against Team Eve and be proud of it, all right? You just have to maintain sportsmanship in here, ladies, German boys and girls. I will not be, I will not be surprised if Team Eve does not take the victory domination. I will not be surprised if we see another nuke in domination over here in firing range. Absolutely crazy gameplay here and Velvet will definitely not give up a point. They want to be on top. Singaporeans love that. They are very calculating people. They love that perfection. Really, really, really like to have no mistakes on their end and they're showing it today. The early kills dropping in for the side of the Eve, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Elmo J was the first blood there. I don't know if that will go to point out or paint the story for later on. But the pressure will come through very strong for Team Velvet now as they try to move back in to grab a couple of extra points for themselves. Bravo will be in contention as Mid Square will be heavily, you know, uh, fought after or sought after by both teams. Yep, exactly. And right now, that rotation is actually going to be heading over to that A bomb, that A you know platform over here. It's going to be difficult for them to actually get all of those points out. But then, surprisingly, Bravo is not taken yet by anyone. I'm surprised that Velvet didn't really rush into that Bravo. But I think it's because they're really gathering all of those score streaks, not really rushing, really confident into those movements right now. Okay, Bravo still not picked up by either side. Team Eve leading just by a couple of points only because Bravo has not been contested yet. This is the early parts of the game. And, oh, there you go. Elmo J getting shut down once again means there will be no nuke anytime in the foreseeable future. And Xbot, on the other hand, might be trying to keep that dream alive for the team. Yep, exactly. And uh, again, no one is going to be taking Bravo and the rotation is going to be on here by Vapey. And especially really trying to get those positions. No one has power positions right now. I think it's just a matter of like really going for kills. They're not going for the for the what take the? in here. Uh, it's it's very serious. Uh, honestly, they're not going in for the for the take here. Velvet is just playing around getting those kills. Again, Velmo J will El Velmo. Elmo J will not be able to get the nuke because she went on a crazy kill streak, don't get me wrong, but she just overcommits. Earlier, she was a little bit more cautious of Team Eve. Maybe that's the secret, right? Uh, you know, by giving that respect to your opponents, maybe then you'll be able to pull off a really clean game. Elmo J clearly just wants yet another nuke. She's thirsty for it. Gonna be denied. 35 to 34. It's still an equal game in here. Just because Bravo has not been picked up. It's been a while since I've seen those gravity spikes fly through the air. I know, I haven't seen that in a while. And two members of the Team Eve actually has that. And it's gonna be interesting how they actually take it as Charlie is going to be trying to get taken down. But then Bravo is still needed to be taken. But then Alpha, here we go, AJ. The response from Velvet. Okay, now it's a two-point cap. They haven't even gotten Bravo just yet. They're just teasing the side of Team Eve, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So are they going to finally go in for that Bravo drop? Team Velvet will definitely be able to play this to perfection. And they will be dropping in to see if or not clearing area is sorted and clear out all of the opposition from there. Team Eve now trying to make a play. Unfortunately, with Angel going in for the approach, even she will fall. Team Velvet, look they like they are poor to take another W in here. Velvet is not going for Bravo on purpose. They don't want to win this game too early. And we see here two points is enough for them to actually win this matchup. But then you see here Alpha is going to be taken. And again, 
they have that confidence to not go for Bravo. They are just going in here for picks and kills and really trying to see which one of their team is going to get a new for this one. I think they're just having a bet at this point. Like, okay, I'll get a new. No, 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 I'll get a new. I feel like that's what their comms are sounding right now. Can X support Lady Zero for skills? I don't know how close she is, but uh, she's slowly climbing up little by little. Elmo J has fallen a couple of times. NX bot, on the other hand, I have not seen her taken down. And we might just be able to see that Bravo side be played if anyone can get a kill on NX bot. Let's just see if or not that will come through. Keiki ravaging on with the war machine right now as Velvet will pick Charlie right back up. Team Eve need to step up their game play before they get new and unfortunately Elmo J will fall once again which means Elmo is definitely not in contention for any sort of nukes in this game uh, exactly but then there's still two other teammates from their team that could possibly get that or maybe even three we have NX by Keiki and Vapey already having that double digits but we don't really know if they got killed we're not quite sure if we don't see all of those but then we can see here I think that's what they're trying to go for because they're not going for Bravo they are definitely Whoa. going to delay this one Elmo J double man goes in for the back-to-back -back pieces with the one and only way to slay with style, yo. Are we going to be able to see Team Velvet continue to pick those points up? They will almost take clearing area into their hole, but Team Eve with the immaculate invention coming through. Alpha picked up, and it is going to be the Barracks Hut gameplay for Team Eve. Can they make their comeback in the beat? Well, it's going to be possible if they actually try to go for B. They can take advantage of the fact that Velvet is not really taking this game seriously and go in for that surprise. But it's going to be difficult as the score streaks are going to be coming out in a little bit, especially knowing that they will win this game and they have the points to actually do it. Right now, Cherry and Angel are the only ones that have double digits in their game. Let's see exactly if or not Team Eve is able to teach Velvet a lesson for playing games around in this match. Highly improbable, but I hope they do manage to pull it off. Bravo, a little bit more for them to squeeze through. Are we going to be able to see Eve get it done? It's going to be an export ravaging through those players. A little bit more for the push, but unfortunately, that's just a little bit easier said than done. Yep, exactly. And they're really delaying. They're not even cleaning up Bravo. Velvet is having this time to get all of those kills. But then they are going to have two points right now. And it's going to be... They're going to let A be caught, captured. Let's be real. They're really just playing here for kills and trying to see who can get the most streaks and all of that. They might even bring out all of their score streaks at the very end. But then they're really just delaying all of these points just so they can have fun and get more kills. Uh, it's going to be Team Eve, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, trying their best to make their way back in here. Lyric just tried to pop off with a chopper, unfortunately unable to go in with style. It is going to be the absolute prevention that drops in together with the cluster strike for Team Eve, but they are unable to just capture that point. Prevention dropping in for Team Velvet. Are we going to be able to see Team Eve pull this off? Cherry, Sim, Chewy, as well as Angel, they need to depend on Lyric. She has been able to string on quite a number of those dudes as Team E, they have managed to finally put their foot into Bravo, pick it up for themselves. And now Team Velvet will try to bring on the Doom as Angel shuts Team Velvet out. Bravo is still for them. How long can they hold on? Uh -huh, exactly, and right now, what Team Eve can do is not allow themselves to be obliterated like they were in Hardpoint and really deny all of those nukes. And they're going to have a hard time really doing that, especially how 105 and 111 is going to be close games. And I think at this point, Velvet is going to want to take this game seriously. Oh, look at that, man. Team Eve preventing the takeover on Bravo Wapi. Alamak. Velvet finally settling that off, but the fight for clearing area might just pop through. Vapi in here with the double kill and will be able to force the pressure on Barracksat as well. This is a two-lady pickup on Barracksat and the triple cap will go to look for the closure. Velvet finally won the take team bit up their, their gameplay. Barracksat pulled right back. Oh, prevention dropping it at that final moment by Bloom to make sure they will hold on to the triple cap beat. Yep, 
Here we go. This is Velvet taking it a little bit more seriously than they were a while ago, capturing all of these three points. They were like, okay, we're not going to get the nuke. Might as well win the game already. And that's what they did. They, for the longest time, did not go for Bravo because they wanted to extend that time. There's one more minute in the game. And 146, 148, you already know what's going to be the name of the game. Velvet is going to win this one. Absolutely dominating domination. And not just domination, all three matchups. They are going to be getting straight down that we really want to see here because these are amazing numbers. That you Getting Harry it done really well Angel for the, the side of, you know, Team Eve as well. I am not sure whether or not... Yeah, I'm not sure whether or not we are talking over each other, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on your side. But unfortunately, we have kind of lost Beef Mummy for a little bit in here. She will be joining us back in a little bit 41 to 26 unfortunately you know the side of team eve they were outshined by velvet but i really love the heart that team eve has shown us in this competition thus far and if anything they truly have yeah. won mind beef Mm -hmm, exactly. Apologies for that. I think my internet just didn't handle how well Velvet actually played in this one. Absolutely dominating over here in Hardpoint. 150 to 41, especially getting that nuki Duki, especially in Hardpoint. You don't see that. You usually see nukes in domination, but seeing it in Hardpoint is so rare, especially they were delaying that hard point. They weren't stepping on that very last hard point because they really wanted the nuke to be down. And for search and destroy, again, 6-0, absolutely dominating around here in firing range. And in domination, they were able to actually get a bit more points, but it's because Velvet gave it to Team Eve, again, with a dominating fashion, 150 to 115. Unfortunately,